Hello and welcome to the Thursday, June 6th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Google came out with its monthly update for Android. We got a total of 22 vulnerabilities being fixed here, eight of which are critical. Now out of these eight critical vulnerabilities, three are again in the media framework. What's sort of interesting about these three vulnerabilities is that two of them only exist in Android 9, while the third one only exists in older versions of Android. Now, the fourth vulnerability in the framework, which is only rated as high, it's a privilege elevation vulnerability. This one goes all the way back to Android 7 and also appears to affect the newer versions. Chrome also received an update with a number of security fixes, nothing really too spectacular here and Chrome should update itself anyway. But we also got some little bit new and different Mac malware to talk about. This particular sample was dissected by Arrow Security. Now the initial install vector is the old and tried uh, fake flash player install. Have seen this for years now with Macs and must be probably the number one way how malware ends up on the Mac. Now, once it runs, it actually runs a little bash script that will install an HTTP and HTTPS proxy on the system. It will add a trusted certificate authority to the system to properly provide signed certificates. And then the end goal and moneymaker appears to be the injection of ads into the browser sessions. Interestingly, they're actually using Bing ads here, which is a little bit ironic all over here for Mac malware, but I guess that's where they're actually able to make a little bit of money. So if you are infected by this malware, then when you're going to Google, you're doing a Google search, what you'll actually see is injected Bing search results. And then we got an interesting, but not very severe vulnerability in Kubernetes. This one affects Kubelet version 1.13.6 and 1.14.2. The problem is if you're not specifying an explicit run as user, it will run as UID zero or as root when you are restarting the container. If you did set up a user in the container image manifest, this will essentially be ignored. Now, if you specified must run as non-root to true, then actually the container will refuse to start. A patch doesn't appear to be available yet, but it may have changed by the time you're listening to this, so double check this. For now, you can just specify the run as user directive, or you can say must run as non-root to true. If you do that, uh, then, well, if you are affected, the container will not run at all. And in some cases, this may be preferred. And it shouldn't come as a big surprise that the bad guys, well, uh, they are not necessarily that great at secure coding either. And Akamai looked at a few phishing kits and found that many of them suffered from simple file upload vulnerabilities. The problem here is that many of these phishing kits want to make it easy for the attacker to update the various pages that are used to emulate the site being phished. Well, in this case, they implemented simple upload uh, functionalities that do not sanitize the path. And as a result, attackers will be able to actually upload arbitrary files into arbitrary locations on the system, being really only restricted by the server's permission. Now, on the other hand, the fact that a particular website is being used as a phishing site often indicates that they already have have some basic vulnerabilities. Seeing a lot of sort of WordPress and Drupal sites being abused this way. So this may actually not add that much of an additional vulnerability. But in particular, if it was a weak password or so, it actually happens that attackers will fix the vulnerability they used to actually attack the system to gain a stronger foothold in the system. 
lesson learned here if you do run into a website that does host a phishing kit then double check that nobody else installed any other tools that may be actually more damaging and more difficult to detect well and that's it for today so thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye